One thing I learned is that in order to elevate your life, everything starts with a choice. Everybody always has good thoughts. Like everybody always knows what to do. And if you're watching this video and you tell yourself you don't know what to do, you need to dig a little bit deeper because you, you know what you need to do in order to, to win in life. But it all just comes down to the thought versus the action. Just making the simple choice to make the video or work out or study for the test. You're making a very simple choice, but there's so much in between things that make it so complicated to make that simple choice. One thing immediately that you need to learn in order to elevate your life is that your current situation is happening because of the collection of choices you made. It doesn't matter if you're broke, if you're even homeless, every choice that you made led you to that situation that you're in now. You just need to be very honest with yourself. But the best thing about that is the choices you are going to make can lead you to a whole different situation. So don't beat yourself up if you're watching this video and you're not in the best situation because as much as the choices you made put you in this position, the choices you will make can put you in a whole different world. The next thing I want to talk about is the positive part of making choices, the art of taking action. Let's say you decide to, you know, okay, I got to study for this test. Let's say you actually do make the choice to study for the test. Instead of going from not doing it, you decide, okay, today I'm actually going to do it. The next thing you need to do when it comes to the art of taking action is simplify the crap out of it. Don't overcomplicate anything. Don't get yourself a nice Celsius, you know, like I'm doing now. Don't make sure everything looks pretty. Don't like just open your damn laptop and get to it. Like, okay, you made the choice. All right, I'm going to study. Grab your laptop. Let's go. That's it. Don't start making your room look pretty so that you can become the, it, it, that's where you start to procrastinate because you're, you're doing phantom work at that point. It's not real work. You need to just do the literal task. And that's something I used to do so much. I used to be like, okay, cool. I'm going to record today. And I used to let me, let me do this first. Let me do that first. Oh, uh, this doesn't look right. Let me make sure that everything, no, I just decided to now set up my ring light, make sure my mics are charged, press record and boom, I'm making my video right now. So doing the art of action and just actually taking action is extremely important and simplifying everything is also extremely important. Just think of everything as a straight line. You have A to B. Don't put anything in between. Just start your task, finish your task. That's it. So like I said, once you figure out step one, you start to figure out from going from a thought to actually action. So once you go from a thought to actually turning it into an actionable task, make sure to simplify the crap out of the steps in between. There are always going to be steps in between, but make the steps walk to your dresser, grab the notebook. Like it needs to be very simplified because now at that point, you're not even doing the, the task. So you're just doing the thing to set up for the task. The next thing that I learned to escalate my life and that you guys can use to get to the next level. And this is the part I'm still learning very closely. I'm still studying it. It's to learn stoicism. Um, learning to do things based off of reason and not reaction or emotion. So like I explained in my last video, the art of doing, that's a piece of stoicism because you're doing the task no matter how you feel. And that's a skill set you need to learn. You're not going to learn this today. You're not going to learn it tomorrow. It takes years to master that. You're procrastinating and that doesn't matter at all. You just get to it right away. Once you start to learn stoicism and make decisions based on reason and evidence, that's when the pages really start to turn. That's when you start to really notice a difference in your life because now you're doing things kind of on an automatic scale. You're just going. And that's something I'm still learning to this day. And yeah, I was very, I was getting the procrastinating feeling. I, I wrote my schedule down. I did my groceries. I'm on a trip right now. Um, and I was getting home. I'm like, dang, bro, I got to record. But it doesn't matter how I feel. I still need to record. So here I am. And I'm actually having fun now because I'm just recording. I'm chopping it up with you guys, drinking a Celsius. We're having fun. You just get to the test. Just do it. It's that simple. There's no emotions that should be tied to it at all. 
So learning the art of stoicism is going to be extremely important when it comes to elevating your life. And the final thing and something that I've seen with my own eyes is not listening to the outside noise. People are always going to be giving you advice. People are always going to be telling you what they think is right for you. And a lot of people will also project their own insecurities on you as well. Learning to not listen to the outside noise and trusting your intuition is going to be extremely important. Because once you start to learn to trust yourself, that's when the quality of your results are going to be very high. It's funny because I go on trips just like this. I'm in a room with a sink, a TV, and a bathroom, and a bed. I do these trips so that there's absolutely no distractions. It's just me and work. And I do these trips for a reason. People people think I'm wasting money, but I look at it. I spend this money with no like hesitation. Like I just I bought it at work in 15 minutes. I was like, okay, done. Because I know the results I'm gonna get from this. I'm gonna create five really good informative YouTube videos. I'm gonna work out twice a day. I'm gonna see the world because I'm in Connecticut. I never, I never really been here besides once before, and you get to see the world. It's like not listening to the outside noise, just taking all the distractions out. Like I said, just taking out steps. Don't add anything. Just what can you take out of your life? That's it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like a small guide on how you can escalate your life. Um, if you guys like the video, definitely make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.